Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. I felt like playing one up again, so that's our bonus game today. Um, so let's start with logic, because it's a logic puzzle. Ooh, that was actually nice. Um, let's just move this LO over on the left word and just get some new letters. So maybe slope. Ooh, is it elope? And then what's this? Cl uh, it's not close. Oh, it is close. The right, it has to be close. It's forced. And then the left is probably elope. Wow, okay. <laughs> I did very well on that one. <laughs> nice. I don't think I could have done much better. I was not going to guess elope. And actually, slope gave me close. So I think that was about as good as it was going to get. Nice. All right, let's play Fibble. So each guess has a lie. So this meter guess that it gave us at the start, maybe one, one of these is lying. So maybe this E should have been gray or green, or maybe this R should have been yellow or green. We don't know. But one of those letters is lying. Um, it's going to be hard to use the T-E-M. Let's see if I can come up with something like S, maybe, maybe like an S-T-E word. And then if I use the M, the problem is I don't have a lie in meter. So I'd have to bring in another E or the R. I don't think steam with double E is a word. I'm thinking about doing... I was thinking about stern, but that was two lies. If I omit the M... Um, then that's our lie. And then I can just do like... Stale. I think stale is fine. Ooh. Okay, did we learn anything from this? Basically, everything agrees. Well, okay. Yeah, no nothing's contradicting, is what I mean. I think I was right to omit the M. Uh, what if I just guess stall here? I th Ooh, wait, hold on. What's our, what's our lie there? Oh, so I have to use the E. I think we're ST something LE. Style? Wow, style in two. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Well, let's continue. Let's do between all. I'll start with lucky. All right. Um, closer to the start of the alphabet, 14%. I'm thinking D, maybe C. Let's do a really early D word, like daisy. Okay, so D was way too far, so maybe an early C word, like camel. All right, between camel and daisy, almost certainly starting with C. Maybe not C-A, though. So let's try a C-H, maybe? Like chair, an early C-H? Ooh, okay, so I, I missed it. Maybe cedar? Okay, um, could it be C-E? I'm not really seeing it. So maybe we are a very late CA then. Maybe there's a lot of CA words. Um, I could guess caver. That's pretty late. Let's just give that a try. Ooh, okay. So catch. Nice. Okay. Catch in seven. Not terrible. Cool. Well, how'd you do? Let's play word 500. So... Let's start with, hmm, let's start with camel. Two yellows and camel. Okay, so I want to just move this AE over, I think. What should we do? Like steak, like a wooden steak, three yellows. Okay, so I'm going to assume for now that we got the AE yellow correct, but they're just still yellow. And then STK are in, I don't know which one. So let's come up with how we want to form this. I think EA here is a really good idea. Um, I don't know which letter of STK to use. I'm actually thinking about doing break here and use the K. Ooh, one green, one yellow. Okay, so I didn't pick one of the letters right. If EA was right, that means I that, that there is no K. And then I, I still need to like figure out I think probably I placed the A, because we want vowels generally to be central. And so I think E here, A here, and then we just need to include an S or a T. Seems reasonable. Um, what's a good word? Maybe ending in AT, or like even ETA might be good. 
But let, let's look at a T ending first. Um, I thought of begat, but there's no B. Um, hmm. It could also start with T. T E something A. Texas. No. <laughs> It ain't Texas. Um, darn, I can't see something. Um, I thought of extra, which is great, except there's no green and break, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I wonder if it is E something something A, though. Or I wonder if the E, maybe the E was placed and the A needs to be moved. So let, let's look at that. So we have the E in place. Maybe the maybe we start with A. A is something E, and then we need an S or a T. Agent. I think agent works. Three greens. So maybe I got the A E T right? That makes sense. What else would work there? Ooh. Maybe not. That would mean I got the G or the N right. I, I really think at this point it has to be A, E. And I think I got them placed. I mean, obviously they're placed. The, the three letters that are in the word in agent are placed. Um, if it's not the T, then that means there's no T, and it means that I need to use an S. And I'm looking at how that would work. Um, I don't know if I like either of these. This is a problem. Av, av, it can't be avert, because there's no R in this case. Okay, I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at the option of the, the red T. With a with a yellow S, and then the G or the N's in place. So either A G E, and then we'd have like an S somewhere. Don't know that I like that. Or we'd have A something E N, and then I I don't like ending an S because that makes it kind of plurally. Um, but A S E just doesn't look good to me, like. You'd want two S's usually, or SC, something like that, like Ascend, right? I think at this point, it's not possible for it not to be EA. We'd have too many other letters, I think. Because we'd have one, so even if we have one of EA, we'd have one from Camel. So we'd have the, we'd have one from EA, and then we'd have one from Camel. So that's two from Camel, right? And then we could repeat the E or the A in stake, and then we'd have one. We'd have two more from stake, so that's four letters. And then we'd have one more from break. I guess the K could be used again. And then agent. Even if we use the K again, agent is introducing a G or an N. It's technically possible, but that's the, the letters don't work out. We, we'd have we'd have too many consonants, I think. Okay, yeah. So I'm pretty confident that the e a are placed here. What I don't know is whether the s or t is yellow here. Um, I wish I could just. Ooh, I just thought of it. I think it's adept. There we go. Okay, it just took a while. Sorry about that. I couldn't think of an a e t word. Adept is kind of difficult. Cool. Adept in, in five? I'm pretty proud of that. How'd you do? All right, let's play polygonal. We are in Hexpert. We have a six letter word, and it's a sandwich, as I like to call it, because we have this inside repeating and the outside repeating. So I, I usually I think this is a consonant and this is a vowel. So like what would we do? Like like an like an ER word, right? Like better. Right, the E is correct. Could be like ED. Um, 
maybe yelled? Ooh, interesting. There's an L, but it's not the repeat. Oops. So maybe we're E-L. Um, what does that make any sense? Um, it makes me want to do like double S-E-L. I don't think there's a word for that, though. What about just lesson? Ooh, it is E-S-S-E-L. What, what is this word? Um, vessel. Nice. Cool. Uh, 76 ordinary words. All righty. Cool. Let, let's see if I'm right about it. Us yeah, it is usually double consonant in the middle. Is there any double vowel in the middle? In fact, I'm not seeing any. I haven't looked at every single one, but yeah, definitely go for double consonant in the middle for this form. Cool. Are there any even uncommon ones? Scooch. Okay, I found one. <laughs> cool. Let's do the mini. Uh, this repeats. Um, what should I do for that? Tater. No? Okay. Um, ooh, what are we doing here? Is this the A? Award? Close. The A and R got placed. Um, hmm. If it's not award, what is it? Um, Avery or something? No, I, I thought that had an E. Um, Alarm. Alarm. Nice. Alarm in three. Okay, cool. Well, how'd you do? Let's play symbol. Start with blaze, per usual. All right, there might be an L second. This symbol could be an L or a green, putting the L there. So let's try cloth. All right, this symbol doesn't match, so it can't be the green L there, which means it's the yellow symbol. The way yellow works in symbol is it means a different letter in blaze goes in that slot. Yellows work differently than in Wordle. So these are marking the slot, not the, not the letter. So this second slot is a B, A, Z, or E. The first slot is from cloth, and the last slot is from cloth, but they have to be two different letters from cloth, and not the letters we put in those slots. So we've got some doing here. So this we can't use the L again, because if the L were supposed to be in the first or last slot, then those slots would also have that symbol in our first guess. So our first letter is O, T, or H. T just being the most common letter makes me want to put a T there. We can follow up with a vowel, an A or an E. I'm not sure which. I'll just put an A for now. And then our last letter is a C, O, or, or T. But if we're using the T at the start, it's only C or O. Um, I don't know whether I like ending in C or O. Um, is there like an IC word? Taxic. Ta Remember that the A can be an E. The T could also be an H. Ooh, have Havoc? No, I can't put the O there is the problem. Havoc is spelled with an O. Um, it could be, it could be like an I-O word. Hmm. It could be anything O word. Tough one, actually. What, what are we doing here? So first letter, O, T, or H. What if we start with O? Maybe an O-A type thing going on here? And then ending in T then? I'm not sure if I like that. We can't do about. I was thinking about A, B, and having the B from Blaze be second, and then ending in T. And about came to mind, but it can't be because then we would need that O in the middle to be correct. Um, and I can't think of another word that does this. Hmm. feel like I just need to find the right combo here. Starting with a vowel just makes sense. Otherwise, we start with Z. I mean, I could, I could <laughs> try to start with Z. Z 
D-E, and then we'd end with like an O or a C or a T. I'm not seeing it though. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. So start with A then? No, we no, sorry, we don't start with a word from Blaze, a letter from Blaze. We we start with a letter from cloth. Sorry, that whole thing that I did with Z first was wrong. We could do A Z or A A yeah, I'll put a Z there for now, but we could end in T O or C. So A or E, what are we starting with? No, we're starting with, sorry, we, what, am I still doing this wrong? We start with O, T, or H. What am I doing? Start with O, T, or H. H, A. It can't be hello, unfortunately, because then those that those L's would be pointing at something. So like H E ending in T or C or O. I don't know why I keep doing this wrong. I want to do like habit, but Why can't I find the right letters for these? Okay, let's think about this. So, almost certainly starting with A or E. Let's try E this time. No, 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 no. I did it. I did it wrong again. We're starting with O, T, or H. What do we want to start with? O, T, or H. If I did an O, I'd probably do OB, right? I don't think there's another option. So let's just look at that, OB, and then we'd be ending in T or C. I just, I don't, can't even think of an OB word. So I don't think it's that. So if we did O, we're not doing, I looked at OA, and this would be C, T, or, or C or T, and I still don't see anything for that. So scratch starting with O. So we start with T or H. Let's, let's start with T again. We can do T-E or T-A. I'll put an E there this time. And then we now, now because we use the T, we end with C or O, both of which are not great letters to end with. I keep thinking of the word tepid, which would be a great test, but we can't be the answer because we need to end with a C or an O in this case. Um... There's not a word. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's tempo. Not tempo. Wow. I found a word that worked and it wasn't it. All right. So this first letter is not a T. So it's an H or, and it's not an O either because we guessed an O here and this is not the purple star. So we start with, we start with not with O. We start with um, H. Our second letter is an E. This new symbol is, has to be the green. So we have E second. And then our last letter has to be something in cloth and tempo, but it can't be the O. So it has to be the T. So we're H, E, and then we end with T. Um, just got to fill in the blank. New letters. Height. Ooh, no. It's not how you spell height. Height is too long. Darn, I thought I had it. Um... This one's difficult. What is this word? It took me so long to come up with tempo. <laughs> it wasn't right. Really unfortunate. So our first letter, let's just double check. Can't be L because Blaze would say it was okay. It was there. Can't be O because tempo would say it was there. Can't be T because we tried it there. So it has to be H. Second letter was green for the E. So it is E. And then the last letter has to be something in cloth and tempo. So it's the T. This can't be the O. Okay. So this is guaranteed. Heist, maybe. Okay, got it. Wow. 
that took me a long time. <laughs> but I got it in four, so if you're doing it by guesses, that heist in four is pretty good, but it did take me a while. <laughs> All right, how'd you do? Let's play the blind fusel. So, you know, let's start with tempo. That's fun. Okay, I think our lie is going to be that P, but I wonder if I can use that P anyway. So, like, we like an ST and then a P here. It would be a great idea. Um, and then our lie would be like an O or an E. Is there, a, is there an ST something PE word? I'm not seeing one. Unless steep is a word like this. No, stope. Stope is a word, but that's two lies. Stipe. Stipe is a word. Okay, I'm going to guess stipe. Okay, so either the T... Okay, so yeah, the lie has to be this P because the P wasn't here. So if the lie is the P, then that means we end in T, and there is no P. So this is what we know. Now, the question is, do I guess a random word that ends in T and learn about only this? Or do I go, okay, let's do a filler that at least gets me these two letters. And I think I just want to get these two letters. So I'd like to know if there's an A in the word, because we are very low on vowels. Actually, we're so low on vowels, maybe we don't care. So what are the common letters that I want to get? Probably the N, and then probably, let's see, the L. So I just want a word that does this. Angel. Okay. No N or L. All right, so we know we end in T. I have to repeat a letter now. Um, there's no O, there's no E, I, or O. We don't know about A, we don't know about U, but we can't repeat either. Well, we could repeat them, just not next to each other. Um, would I do something like uncut? No, we know there's no N. So without, with the U, I'm not sure I can repeat without an N, not easily. So let's not worry about the U. Let's repeat the A maybe, like carrot. Have I tried the C and the R? I have not. Okay. Nice. All right. So that's a T. There's one A, probably in the middle. Could would we do like an R A something T? Um, craft no. Can't be C. Draft then. Nice. I got it. Ooh. Yeah. I'm glad I did a filler for Angel because I don't. I wouldn't have guessed draft anyway. So learning about these two was important. I think carrot was a good guess. That worked out well. Cool. Well, how'd you do? All right, let's play this one-up puzzle. So um, I'll go over the rules, even though it'll tick down my timer. So let's just hit play here. Puzzle 75. All right, so basically what each row and column has been split into segments by these bold borders. So like this is a segment of four cells, and this is a segment of two cells. And each segment has the digits 1 to n, where the n is the length of the segment. So we're not repeating within a segment, because we need 1 through n. So this needs 1 through 4, this needs 1 and 2. So because this needs 1 and 2, and we have a 2 in this row already, this row is going to need 1 through 6, so it can't repeat the 2, right? So the 2 ends up here, and the 1 ends up here. All right, so here we're going to need uh, a 4 in this vertical segment here. This can't be the four because there's a four in the row, and these can't be fours. In fact, this is a one, and this is two and one. This is the only way that's resolving. Um, and so now we need a four, and so that ends up here. These couldn't have been fours because these horizontal segments weren't long enough. That makes this a three. All right, so now this row is going to need a five, but I do see two options, here or here. Um, this column needs a six. Okay, so... This can't be six because there's a six in the row. This segment isn't six long, neither is this, neither is this. This is a one. This makes that two and one. And so the six has to be down here. This is the only place that supports it. Now this row needs a six, and it can only be here because this already has a six in it. This is a one. Um, so the six ends up, where did I say here, right? Because this is the only segment that can do that. Um, Okay, so what are we doing next? This is a 1 for the horizontal segment, so is this. All right, I need a 1 in this horizontal segment. This is the only place that doesn't have a 1 vertically yet. I need a 2 as well. This can't be the 2, so that's the 2, and this is the 5. All right, here I need 3 and 4. This already has a 4 in the row, so that's 3 and 4. Uh, here I've got 1, 2. I need 3 and 5. I don't know which order they go in yet, pretty sure. 
Okay. Um, what else is going on here? This is a one for the vertical. There's, there's some easy stuff I haven't filled in yet. Three and five here. All right. What about four horizontally here? Yeah. So this, this needs a one, two for this vertical segment. That has to go like this because we have a one here. And so over here, I need a three and a four. This horizontal has a four already. So that's the, oh no, I don't need a four. Sorry. I need three and five. This can't have the five though, because this is only four in length. So this is the five, and this is the three. And now this already has a four in it vertically, so the four goes here, and then this is the two. The two, I just typoed. That's a three. Uh, this is the five to finish the column. And then this row, it needs a five as well. And this row needs a three, and we're done in 246. Nice. I think I'm starting to really get the logic of this puzzle. So far, it's been. Once you kind of get the logic, I'm, I hate to use the word trivial, but it's been all singles. You just got to find the singles. Um, there wasn't a single like bit of logic that required like markings because I could always just find a force digit. So I'm wondering if that's required in this puzzle or if there's a way to ramp up the difficulty that they just haven't done. Um, but yeah, nice little quick puzzle to do. Um, introduces you to the concepts that are important in Sudoku as well. So kind of a neat puzzle. Um, let me know if you enjoyed it and let me know how you did. And that is it for the puzzles for today. So I um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.